Hello friends, this is Terry and Ann. You may remember them from uh, another video. Uh, they, they're from Texas and a little over a year ago they had a problem with the refrigerator. Couldn't find anybody in their area to fix it so they came and visited us here. And now they've had more trouble with the refrigerator. From what I understand you've been to a few places and you thought the best decision was to come back here again. Well, we wait. In the last month, we've been to two different camper worlds in two different states, and uh, one of their recommended technicians besides. So that's three people, and nobody was able to handle the problem. Uh, they uh, they took their money for it, <laughs> but uh, we didn't we didn't receive satisfaction at all. They they didn't repair the refrigerator. Right. So we were using a cooler, and the problem they had, which is it wasn't working on gas or electric, but the problem they had is the most common problems on the LP side is that the orifice, the burner, and the flue needed to be cleaned. They also had a problem with the electric. Their heat elements were putting out the wrong wattage. And in the heat of the summer, those are two things that are very critical. They are probably the most common problems if the refrigerator doesn't work on electric or gas, it doesn't mean you need a new cooling unit or a new refrigerator. It means you need to find a tech that uh, has been properly trained on how to service the refrigerator. So those are the two most common problems to find with any refrigerator. And you're and you said one of those technicians had how much experience? Uh, 28, 28 years of experience. 29 years he told me. <clears throat> Maybe so. At either way, years. at 29, 8 or 29 years of experience, he should have known to look for the most common problems on the electric and the gas side. I mean, it's just common sense. Well, we, uh, we know how competent and how we trust what you've done here for us and what we've We've mm -hmm. learned from your videos. They've been very informative. Uh, you are quite a few hours from us, so I, I tried to find somebody uh, within a couple hours that could repair this, but boy, I could not find them. So, <laughs> not as a last resort, but we should have come here first. Well, it's uh, we're trying to get more people out there, educate more people, get more people trained. Uh, in more areas, so like yourselves and the other people that come here from so many other states, they don't have to travel here. Maybe there's somebody closer in their state, and that's what we're trying to change. Well, I think that's a, a, t a tremendous endeavor for you because uh, most of the stories I've heard from different uh, RV places is just throw it away. It's no good. Let's put a new one in, and it'll save a lot of time and trouble, and there's not going to be any, any way we can really fix this. And how many, how many refrigerators do you say are repairable, do you think, in all your experience? I'm going to say, um, you know, it's very rare that we find a refrigerator that we can't fix. That's I mean, incredible. maybe one or two out of a hundred. Most of them can be repaired. And not only through us, but that means every service center out there that's throwing them away and has thrown away hundreds or thousands, you know, I'm going to say 98% of those are repairable. It seems to me the consumer is taking uh, quite, quite a hit, aren't they? Well, in reality, yes, because okay. it's the RV owner that's paying the bill. Uh, and then those repairable refrigerators end up in our landfills. And everybody is paying the bill for that because, well, we know the rest of that story. We do, and, and that's such a, in the forefront now, I, I just can't believe that more people aren't uh, more concerned about waste like that. And that is just pure waste. Well, the, <clears throat> the RV industry is starting to so, show some care that they're wanting to educate their technicians more. We hope to hear from more um, out of the RV industry. Right now most of the people that we are training are coming from the HVAC and appliance uh, industry but uh, I hope the RV industry is going to come around and, and start educating the techs more on the refrigerator. 
And that's basically what we're talking about. I'm not talking about a lack of education in the RV, or, or but it's just the refrigerator seems to be a great lack of ed education in the industry. And that's coming from the RV owner, like y'all, telling me that you, you're hearing this, and we hear this all the time, every almost every day. Well, this school is such a great training program for young or old. Some that are retired that might want to do this. This is a fabulous Fabulous thing. Most of the people that, uh, a lot of the people we're training are getting ready to retire or have retired and they're looking for ways to supplement their that's income. Well, that's why right. last year I thought that uh, we would take your training. I, I'm absolutely fascinated by, by this industry and I see such a potential as far as extra earnings. It's not right. digging ditches or anything. It's <laughs> yeah. all something you can do indoors mostly. It, uh, it is a, an incredible earning. I just realized that uh, at 73 years old, I'm not <laughs> not in a position to really start uh, any more careers. I understand. And that is the only reason. I love listening to your videos, and I love fixing things like that. Well, you're a fix-it man, that's why. <laughs> yeah, it's obvious he's got just some like mechanical you, ability. <laughs> um, well, we... Uh, uh, appreciate you making the video, helping educate other RV owners. Um, you know, and if anybody does want any, you know, always look at, if you're having trouble with your refrigerator, always look at, uh, go to rvrefrigeration.com. Look at our videos. If it's past something which you think you're capable of repairing. If you're needing to find a technician close to you, go to the RVRN page. But if you're looking for phone support, then you need to go to the contact page at rvrefrigeration.com. Yes, the contact page. Um, <clears throat> and we'll do all we can to help. Well, thank you for making the videos, helping to educate people. You've got cooling now. Now you can go be with your family and have a nice vacation. <laughs> thank goodness for that. I, I want to add one thing that anybody that's uh, even a little bit concerned that they they may not have a good experience. We've had a lovely experience both times. There can be no more gracious people than, and then who we've been dealing with here, Roger. Yeah, thank you. Thank okay. you, Natalie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you. We love you a lot. And don't be bashful. They're so hospitable. It'll just make you feel like one of the family. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> well, is there any one last thing you'd like to say to whether it's the RV owner or the RV technician out there? I think that uh, these people that are being hired by these companies should really look at having their people educated. This has turned into an absolute flim flam operation in, in every RV place I've been. And that's what we hear and that's what we're trying to change. So on that, I want to say thanks for watching and GBYAY.